Hi, I'm Stavros. Good morning and welcome. And in this video, I will be showing you all around this 1970 Ford D series. Not only that, we will be coming back to ride a horse. <laughs> and I'll also be showing you around some brand new Volvo trucks. So yeah, you're going to see it all in this video, guys. Stick around. Let's check out the Ford D series. Okay, starting off with the exterior first. Now this truck was built in 1970 and was registered in 1979. So the owner is not really sure whether the truck was sitting at the bodybuilders for nine years before it was registered and then put on the road, but that is the story uh, behind this truck, uh, why it was sitting so long before it actually eventually hit the road. So some of you will remember those old <laughs> wheel trims on these trucks. And we have the diesel tank here and little storage compartment. And you can also connect up to your mains power as well inside there. Just a spare hose lying in there. So, and these old wheel caps, some of you drivers will remember going back to the 80s and even before <laughs> forklift drivers would hit these wheel trims and damage them and then they'd end up falling off these nuts would loosen. Uh, there's one gone out there already and uh, they just end up falling off. So that was the story with these old wheel trims on these trucks. So yeah, there is a living quarters on this truck and you also have space for maybe four horses or five ponies. So uh, we'll have a look at the living quarters now. And yeah, it's very unusual. The, you see the driver's side wiper, it has an extra arm here just for additional strength, but the passenger side one doesn't have it. Quite unusual, and here as well, if I just lift that off, we can uh, top up our brake fluid. And if you look in, you can see right in to the brake pedal there. So yeah, I'll just leave that down a minute. And underneath here, it's on uh, full springs, of course. So yeah, this truck has about 90 horsepower, roughly around that. I'm sure uh, a lot of those horses have gone into retirement <laughs> and we have all the plaques there from the various shows that the truck would have attended over the years. So uh, yeah, it's very nice to have them when you attend your horse shows. So as I said, uh, I will be hopping onto a horse later on. Would you believe that guys? <laughs> so I'm uh, really looking forward to that. And in here as well, we have our water tank. And yeah, the steps going up into the living quarters. And we also have a small door there at the back just for checking the horses. And of course, we have the bigger one at the back as well for loading in the horses. And five windows there so that the horses can look out. So uh, yeah, let's just uh, open it up and give you a look inside. So, I mean, when you go back to 1970, this would have been pure luxury at the time and this particular truck would have been huge money back in 1970 it would have been the price of more than two houses if you take into account uh, the cost so um, we're not sure exactly how much but the owner was told that it was huge money back in 1970 so you can convert this into an extra bed all this area here there's a, a board here that you would take off and put over here and make your extra bed. And if we have a double bed up on top of the cab. Now you can't tilt the cab. All the servicing is done underneath here. So you would move the bed and access the engine that way. So uh, yeah, uh, we'll be hopping in, just going down through the controls shortly. And we have our fridge there, the old fridge. Uh, there we have it. And if I move over here, let me just show you, we do have a shower. So will that open? It should. <laughs> there we have it. Yeah, so you have your little sink and your shower there as well. So this truck hasn't been used, obviously, for a long time. Uh, it's been parked up mostly. So yeah, still a very nice classic truck to have. And as I said, uh, yeah, this would have been pure luxury back in the day. And that is a, a table as well. You would set up your table. They just have it tucked in there and your window and your fire extinguisher. And this would be for ha hanging up all of your saddles for the horses. And over here, more hooks as well. 
So yeah, 1989 on that plaque. So this is where they carry all of the horses. So the horse's back would be here, the head would be here, and this plate is to stop the horses from biting each other. Because <laughs> they can be quite temperamental, <laughs> the horses. Uh, let's hope the one I hop on is, uh, is okay with me riding it. And yeah, you can, as I said, you can carry four big horses or maybe five ponies inside in this compartment. Okay, so let's hop back out and I'm just going to hop inside uh, the driver's seat and we'll go down through the controls. So you see there, look, custom cab. And it's a quite, quite a narrow cab. I hopped into it earlier and there's, uh, <laughs> there's more headroom inside my Civic than there is uh, on this truck. There's literally only a, an inch over my head. So uh, yeah, and the adjustment. And in at the back of the seat is for the oil and the water for the coolant. So yeah, your gearbox, um, five speed gearbox. So over to me and down for first, and then second, third, fourth and fifth. And you have your splitter switch here in the gearbox. Quite a very simple cab. Now, we're not really sure, is this the original radio? If any of you guys that are Ford enthusiasts, it's a Sharp. Is that the original radio? We don't really know, but it does work. It still works. So, uh, that's pretty good. And the uh, vinyl seats, of course, and the curtain there. So, <laughs> yeah, uh, the old layout. Now, this tachograph was possibly fitted later in its life. And the start switch is here. The ignition over here and your air gauges, battery and the oil and of course your big brake pedal and your accelerator and the clutch. So fog and reverse light. So um, they reckon that these were fitted later in the truck's life uh, to meet regulations and your handbrake there as well. So I'm going to start it up, uh, turn on the ignition. Oh yeah, and if I move down here, this would have been a cold start um, going back all those years ago. You would pull that for your cold start. So let me just turn on the ignition here and see can I get it started up. Oh yeah, and we have the horn as well. <laughs> and the air horn. Alright, let's give it a start. Oh yeah! <laughs> there we go. Right. The little handle. So guys, yeah, I think it's time to take it out on the road and see how it goes. <laughs> First. Right. And off we go. Now this is definitely the oldest truck I've driven. 1970. And as I said, registered in 1979.
Try not to put it in. Oh, jeez. Hang on, I'll double clutch it. No, <laughs> it's not working, guys. Put it back in the third. Okay. Uh, it, it doesn't seem to want to go into four. I'm gonna give it another go. Let's see. Okay. This is the horse I'm riding today. I think he's 16 and a half of what they call a hand, which is four fingers, I think. I'm not sure. Alright. Uh, okay. Now keep in mind guys, I haven't ridden a horse in um, <laughs> over 30 years. Over 30 years, okay? So uh, let's give it a go. Oh there's no handle here. <laughs> there's usually a handle here. Okay. Huh? No, Wiggy, Wiggy's uh, nice and calm. He's nice and calm. There we go. Not a problem, huh? And we just need okay. to balance ourselves up. When you're ready. Thanks for the ride, Wiggy. Thank you. Oh. <laughs> He's giving up here. <laughs> giddy up, giddy up, Wiggy. Good lad, good lad. Uh, try not to uh, buckaroo me off of your back. I'm usually talking about horsepower the whole time. Now it's finally about time I witnessed one horsepower. I think I'm the fourth person ever to ride Wiggy in the last 15 years. Wiggy's 20 years of age, this horse, guys. So if they were to let go of that uh, lead, he might throw me off. <laughs> uh, yeah, he might, uh, he might uh, give out, would he? <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa. Uh, I'll give Wiggy a big hug. Yeah. 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 Oh. Hi! Well done! <laughs> okay guys, meet little Reg here. Reg, how are you doing? <laughs> okay, I just want to show you some footage now of some brand new Volvo trucks that arrived in Ireland last Monday and yeah, on the Tuesday, I got to video them. So just a short little video. <laughs> Reg, is, he wants to run off. Okay. So yeah, we'll have, check out these brand new Volvo trucks. So the FH13, the FH16, the FMX, and the FM. Check this footage out, and then we'll be back here with the Ford D-Series. So we've got four trucks to show you now. And yeah, this is the new look FH. We've also got the FM, we've got the FH16 750, and the FMX. So I'll be hopping into two of the trucks just to give you a look at the interior tweaks that have been done on the new Volvo lineup. So this is the new headlight design and new grill and also the gloss finish there all along the Volvo badge and on the handles there 
and even the gloss finish on the mirrors and the body colored finish on the mirrors also so yeah the globe trotter so this is the 540 fh with the jewel clutch gearbox six by two uh, sitting on michelin's all around we got a 55 profile 55 and a 70 profile on this fh this one also has the stack out the back let's just have a look at the suzy line up there there you have it so i'm recording this on my phone because i wasn't expecting to see these trucks uh, but i did manage to take some time coming down from dublin and pull in just to give you guys a look around so we've got the crone box trailer there also sitting on the aluminium wheels so yeah let's move on to the fm 420 horsepower so this will be appealing to fleet buyers you should see dhl with a bunch of these in a few years time i'd imagine so yeah i would prefer the glass finish all along the grill i'm not too happy with this finish but um this would be a, a fleet truck so um that is how it would look with all of the fleet buyers uh still pretty nice though and the new shape on the headlights also so yeah this one is sitting quite low we've got a 50 profile tire on the front and a 60 at the rear so that is sitting quite low on the tires and the bumper so i'm going to hop in to the fm and give you guys a look 420 horsepower so uh this is the newly revised dashboard and we also have the remote here as well so uh yeah quite nicely done and we still have the eye shift down here uh, i've said before who would prefer if it was gone but there you have it uh let's just turn on the ignition give you guys a look at the screens so yeah it's a very nice touch screen here uh, let's go down through the home button so volvo dynamic steering uh your parking uh climate parking climate and tire pressure monitor and the camera as well we have a blind spot camera on the passenger side so quite <laughs> this is very futuristic here uh quite well done on the new display so yeah the interior finish we have the red seat belts and look at this purple finish on the back wall um i'll be showing you the fh16 750 now it has a kind of a red finish on the back wall and we have the led lights on the roof and your emergency escape hatch here as well so you just pull that lever and it just pops out the window so yeah the uh the taco as well of course so yeah that's just a quick look at the interior so not a whole lot has changed a lot of the buttons are the same shape same handbrake uh just a small few tweaks here and there but still nicely done so yeah if this is going to be a fleet truck uh there'll be uh quite lucky drivers so yeah let's just uh close it up uh, i am recording this on my phone as i said so uh it's not going to be the best footage unfortunately now we do have the shorter box trailer here as well from crone and yeah the low profile tires as i said and uh, this one has a ladder underneath as well very handy and yeah the twin axle at the back the rear axle is a steering axle on this trailer as well let's just have a look at the underpinnings there and over here as well there you have it okay let's move on to the beast the fh16 750 3550 newton meters of torque a beast <laughs> is there a more powerful volvo coming guys is there a rumor i don't know <laughs> uh, comment below is there a new flagship coming but in the meantime this is the flagship and this is how it looks with the newly revised grill what do you guys think of this grill is it a thumbs up or a thumbs down comment below do you like this grill design but i suppose um, it does distinguish it from the lesser models in the volvo range i really like that gloss finish all around the front grill there as well and it matches in with the mirrors and different color there on the mirror housings but yeah this is like a deep purple quite nicely done and it's sitting on the same tires as the 540 same profile setup so yeah we're gonna hop in to the 750 <laughs> let me give you guys a look inside uh, look at the orange finish on the seats there and also on the dashboard and we do have the same red seat belts as the fm ah the beast okay guys let's hop inside and give you a look now you see now i really like these mattress top uh, mattress toppers as well i really have to get one of them 
and yeah the back wall there it's like a red finish and the cabinets there and the same escape hatch of course so yeah let's just uh hop in and give you a look very, very same eye shift there as the fm okay let's uh i know you guys want to hear a start up so we will start it up it is in neutral good and let's give it a go whoa okay now let's get the uh screen into life here okay all right so that is how it looks yeah basically the same screen as the fm and yeah so they haven't changed a whole lot on the dashboard more or less the same as before and oh yeah the screen has come to life so the same screen as well yeah it's it's all going this way with your big touch screens okay so that's how the f816 750 looks and yeah with all of the lights oh yeah let's just have a look at the lights while i have it started up there yeah okay now i'm gonna walk down and show you the new fmx so yeah the 8x4 tipper this does have the dynamic steering so very light for off-road work when it's fully loaded now you see the new front design the way it protrudes out the front uh, far more so than the FM so yeah there are new regulations coming in in the trucks in the future where they're going to have a certain amount of frontage after the windscreen so uh, that is going to be a new regulation so yeah the 8x4 tipper very unusual color uh, bright yellow so yeah all of them have the VTC Volvo trucks company and 460 horsepower and the body is built by Thompson's so yeah they've got the super singles there on the front all Michelin's as I said so let's just walk around the back axle and give you a look at the setup We've got a three leaf spring setup on the rear so 10 years of FMX in 2020 so it's been going a long time so yeah that is how it looks here at the Johnstown Estate Hotel in Enfield in County Meath, the Volvo Trucks lineup touring Ireland. Quite nice. So there we are, a quick look around the brand new Volvo Trucks range. So these trucks will be hitting the dealerships around November, December time for test drives. So uh, yeah, I didn't get to test drive them that time around, but hopefully in the future I will be testing these and seeing what they're all about. But really enjoyed my quick look around. And yes, the 4D series from 1970, registered in 1979. Uh, not exactly the, the most powerful, as you would expect. And my little ride on Wiggy. Wiggy played a blinder, didn't he? Fair play, Wiggy. Very nice horse. I'm going to wrap it up there. A huge thanks to you all for watching. Please remember to give the video a thumbs up. And I'll talk to you all again next weekend for another video. Take care, guys. Thanks. <laughs> Cheers. <laughs> Neat little ridge here. So guys, I am now going to show you some footage that I shot last Tuesday. Uh, all, <laughs> see Reg, come back will you? <laughs> Trying to work with dogs, guys. Reg, will you come back? <laughs>